Greetings, beloveds. Beloved, there are many, many paths that will take you home to what is considered to be the kingdom. It is a path that is walked by trillions. The billions that are here in this beloved dimension, the quadrillions, the numbers are countless because they are all points of consciousness that are an extension of the initial will of God. And there are indeed breadcrumbs that have been laid along the pathways to allow you to come back to the truth of you. You do so within your own time. Time has been given as a tool, a teaching tool. And there will come that moment, beloveds, when you decide that what is paramount to you, what is more important to you than anything else, is your relationship with the divine, is the aspect of you that is true, is the aspect of you that is real, the one that listens to the voice in the stillness rather than the chaos, the one that knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that what is being spoken is being spoken from the source of spirit, the source of love, and is willing to lay down the fears and the beliefs that have been given from parents, from teachers, from leaders. You come to trust in yourself. There is an air of confidence that you develop about yourself because you know that you have come into alignment, you have come into shalu with your own highest self. You are constantly referring to your highest self saying, should I or shouldn't I? Will I or won't I? Could I or shouldn't I? And then there comes a moment, beloveds, when you realize that you have fully merged with that of the Christ consciousness. And nothing is more important to you than to live within that truth. And this is not only available to each being, this is assured for each being. And you will come to it of your own volition there will be the moment when you say, yes, this is, this is the time. This is the, the willingness that I have to release everything that I have held on to, held dear to me, made more important to me than God, more important to me than love, more important to me than life itself. And you have the most overwhelming feeling of love. I remember for myself when I made this choice, I was in a temple and there was a choice to follow my heart or to continue to listen to the mind and its endless chatter. And when I made this choice, beloveds, nothing was ever the same. The relationships that I had were different. The way in which I perceived myself was different. The walls seemed to come alive, the plants, the animals. There was a different way in which I interacted with others for all I wanted to do was pour love upon them and allow them to see the love that I had for creation itself. I promise you that this will occur for each of you. And if you wish to move closer to that, call out and ask for assistance Ask to be disengaged from the egoic mind. Ask to be humbled. And when you need to, fall to your knees and pray for assistance, beloveds, and it will be granted to you. And you will not believe the assistance that will rush towards you. And that was what I did. I prayed. I prayed humbly and I asked to be released from my own bonds from the prison that I had placed myself in, by believing in the mistruths that I had told myself. I pray for this for you, beloveds. 
And I am here to assist you on your journey always. Call out to me and allow me to be of service to you. For I am truly with you always. Blessings to you, beloveds. And I will speak with you again.